Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Johnny and you're watching Virtually BGCMC. In this video, we are going to draw Spider-Man, Miles Morales version. Uh, this style is from the show Spidey and Friends on Disney Plus if you've ever seen it. But we're going to go ahead and dive right in here. Uh, starting off with the basic shape, the first basic shape of the head. This is going to be uh, a big upside down egg shape. So we want it pretty wide up top and then coming down in here to a point at the bottom. Take your time, don't rush trying to get this shape right. It is pretty tricky if it's your first time drawing it. But it doesn't have to be perfect, so just get it the best you can. And that should be good enough. Okay. So from here, uh, this is going to be a little bit different from the usual bodies we draw. Very dynamic pose, meaning there's a lot of movement in the pose, right? Uh, compared to a lot of other characters we draw, just standing straight up and down, which we call a static pose. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start with the arm coming out from the side of the head this way. And we're going to be working with what we call gesture lines. Gesture lines are basically lines to capture the pose. Okay, so the arm is going to be swooping upward like this with a nice smooth curve. Doesn't have to be really big, just it's actually a pretty fl a flat curve. Just want to make sure it's going up in this way. Okay, from here, we're going to go down to this area. And then the gesture line here is going to go all the way from the body, bending a little bit and cutting all the way through to the leg here. Okay, so we're going to go down this way. all the way through. How much curve you want to put in this pose on this part, that's really up to you. If you want, you could really exaggerate and make him look like he's swinging really uh, in a crazy way. All right. I'm not going to curve it too much, just about there is good for me. And then I'm going to draw the other side of the leg, matching this curve, going down this way. I'm going to save the feet for when we add the details. But notice the opening here in the ankle, it is pointing in this direction. And again, it might change depending on how much you're curving the pose. But from here, to we're going to move into the next leg, bending out to the side this way. Actually, let's draw the other side of the body first. So I'm going to come up here and then draw a curve like this. Okay. And then the leg is going to come out to the side. This leg would go out to the side here and here. And then we're going to get the bend in the knee going down this way. And this other part of the leg, you want to make sure this line is overlapping here. So it's going to look something like this. Our end goal is to make it look like this leg is kicking forward and this leg is kicking back. So this foot and this part of the leg, you do want it to be bigger than this back here. And then this arm, we're going to co come up here for the shoulder. Get the pose going here and here. Nice sharp bend in the elbow, just like that. Okay, so that's looking pretty good so far. I feel like the arm might look a little thin over here. Let me adjust that. Okay, so from here, we're gonna get into the details. A lot of details with Spider-Man, the costume, especially with all the webbing. I simplified this drawing just a little bit just so it won't get too complicated. But we are starting with our midline down the middle of the head. And this midline is actually gonna be 
uh, turned into part of the webbing design. So uh, you don't have to draw it lightly right off the bat, but you can if you want to. So with the eyes, I'm gonna pick a point on the face. It's gonna be a little bit below the halfway point. So if I were to draw a horizontal midline, it would be about here. But the point, the corner here on the eyes, I want a little bit lower than that. So I'm gonna choose a spot about here. And then for the eyes, the top part, we're gonna start with an S curve going up and out like this. So this first curve you want really wide. And then right when you're about to get to the edge of the head, you just wanna curl it up like that. Bottom part of the eyes, we're gonna do a C curve going this way until you get to the edge of the head. Same thing over here. S curve and then a C curve. Okay. For the inside part of the eyes, the way I approach it is I kind of think of it as drawing a triangle a little bit. So we're gonna start a curve going this way and then a curve going this way, the side curve, and then the bottom curve. A triangle in the way that there's three sides I'm seeing, right? We did three curves, but it doesn't look like a triangle because we're using these really rounded lines. These nice big curves. So just like that. Now for the webbing, uh, I'm gonna darken this line up here. Going this way. This is the starting point. And then the lines that are going back, I'm gonna get one going here and then one going here. Same thing for the bottom. Notice also the way that these lines are curving. These ones are curving in this direction. Um, I guess the curve would be towards the inner part of the head. These, were, these lines are curving the opposite way. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now here, we're gonna draw the cross webbing, which just connects to each part of these lines. So we're gonna do the ones on top, crossing, crossing. Notice the curves on these as well. Cross that way. Then we'll do the bottom ones. We'll do a couple here in the middle, and then some here on the bottom. Squeeze one in right there. Okay, looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna darken up the lines here for the head. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna darken up the lines for the body now. And at this point as well, you could follow exactly how you drew the gesture lines or you could refine the shapes a little bit just to add a little more structure in the body. Uh, for these parts, I want to stick to the gesture lines, but there is one part I do want to make a little bit of an adjustment on. Here, well here I'm going to round out the knee a little bit. I feel like it's too sharp right there. So I'm going to round that out. All of this. But here, I do want to show a little bit more bend in the knee. So I'm going to follow the gesture line a little bit until I get to where I think the knee would be. And then I want to bend a little bit of a sharper bend here. I'm gonna adjust that. Okay. Now we'll get the feet in here. So for this one, I'm gonna draw a little line going in. That's gonna show me where the ankle is. And the foot is gonna go down this way. Up and around, back to here. Okay, this foot is a little bit trickier. So this here, we're gonna call the side plane. And then this is the bottom plane of the foot, right? Because it's kicking out, we can actually see the bottom part. So I'm gonna start my line here, a little bit inside of the leg, and go curl this way and down here. Okay, so we got the side plane of the foot, and then from here, starting from the toes, we're gonna go down, curve it back this way. Okay, got it. Moving up to the hands, this part could be a little bit tricky as well. I'm gonna draw a line cutting off where the wrist is. And then I'm gonna draw a shape for the palm. It's gonna go up this way, this way. Draw this really lightly 
because the fingers are going to be covering up a lot and we're going to it's just a lot of this is a guideline basically so it's not going to be part of the final drawing but we want it in place so we know where to place up put all the fingers kind of looks like a fly swatter in my opinion so that's the shape you're looking for one two three these four sides well five if you include the wrist but anyways from here the thumb is going to go out this way these fingers that are curling in you know when he shoots the webs I want to draw these ones first so we're gonna loop around like this and then match it here and then from here I want to make a little bit of a, an adjustment on this one I feel this one I drew the fingers curling this way but I feel it would look better if they curled the other way it gives a little more tension in the in the fingers here they look a little bit too relaxed to me okay so I'll curve them this way then back to the palm follow that actually these guidelines that we drew here and here we could use these for the webbing pattern so what we're gonna do come down here to the arm cut that off here draw some webs that way here and here uh, I like to leave the webbing pattern off of the palm and just put it on the fingers so we got some webbing here like that and then like that okay for the webs shooting out of the wrist we're going to go down here and you could just make some long curvy lines like this wrapping around be kind of free on this part don't have to really follow any specific structure or anything uh, jumping over to the other hand we're gonna do the same thing get the wrist in place draw the palm shape again I'm just gonna draw a dark right off the bat because we're gonna use these parts for the webbing pattern uh, thumb going out this way four fingers spread out the web pattern in there and on the forearm as well okay. so from here we're gonna draw the design on the chest we're gonna get this shape in here first so we're gonna start from here kind of cutting the arm off and then making this V shape going down here and then up to here okay again cutting the arm off then getting this shape wrapping around get the spider logo in here uh, I simplified the spider logo just so it'll be a little easier to draw we're gonna curve get a couple spikes here going up and then a couple going down those are the legs the spider legs in the bottom part we'll do the same thing over here okay. almost there so when i was growing up spider-man was always my favorite superhero and i always loved to draw him but the peter parker version the costume was so complicated to draw because there was so much more detail so the miles morales one even though it's not completely simple it is a little bit easier i feel to draw than the peter parker version just because there's a little bit less webbing pattern going on it's a lot more simple more straightforward so i thought that was pretty cool about miles but to be honest once you understand the pattern of the webbing it becomes kind of easy if you draw it enough so i challenge you keep practicing if you really love drawing Spider-Man, keep practicing and eventually it'll get pretty easy to know where all these webs are supposed to go. Okay, final few webs in here and then I'm going to give my drawing one last look and do a little cleanup work. Not too bad, looking pretty good to me. 
that was Spider-Man Miles Morales version. Thank you all for joining along and watching the video. I hope yours came out good as well and we will catch you on the next one. Bye!